Hi class! Today we are making a savory and mildly spicy Asian fusion dish, Korean spicy chicken kimchi quesadilla. I've included two versions of this recipe, a regular version and a low carb version with just some minor tweaks. Here are the ingredients. First, we are going to cut one boneless, skinless chicken thigh meat into small one inch chunks and put them into a large bowl. Add one teaspoon of sugar or if you're on keto, use monk fruit or your preferred sweetener. Add one teaspoon of minced garlic, about one teaspoon of the soup seasoning packet from the Shin Ramen. Add one teaspoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of soy sauce, one third of your half cup of chopped scallions, one teaspoon of gochujang, a Korean chili paste, and then put on a glove and toss the chicken with all the ingredients to make sure it's evenly coated with the marinade. We will let it marinate for about 10 minutes. Next, chop a handful of kimchi into small chunks about 1 inch bites and set it aside. We will now cook our spicy chicken in a pan on medium heat. Add 1 tablespoon of butter and add the marinated chicken. Cook for about a few minutes until you see the chicken is caramelized and I like it just a little bit charred but you can basically remove from the heat as soon as the chicken is cooked. In a clean pan on medium heat, add 1 tablespoon of oil, put 1 tortilla on the pan. I'm using a low-carb flour tortilla that has only 4 grams of net carbs per tortilla. If you're not a low-carb or keto, feel free to use regular flour tortillas. Add the first half cup of the shredded cheddar mozzarella cheese. Next, you're going to top with the cooked spicy chicken we just made. Add another third of the chopped scallions and then the kimchi. I lost the footage for the next step, but basically add the rest of the half cup of shredded cheddar mozzarella and top with another tortilla. Now flip the quesadilla over, add a little bit more oil and press down so that the cheese can melt and mend the tortillas together. Once the other side is golden brown, you can remove from the heat. We're almost done! Put the quesadilla on a cutting board and cut the quesadilla into fours. Look at that cheesy goodness! Put the quesadillas on a plate and garnish with the rest of the chopped scallions. I'm adding some tokarashi pepper and it is ready to be served. If you decide to use the low carb version of this recipe, it is just two minor tweaks. Replacing the sugar with the monk free sweetener and replacing the normal tortillas with the carb balanced tortillas. The total carb count is about 13 grams net carbs. If you enjoyed this recipe, please comment and let me know how you liked it. Please also like and subscribe.